Hello, students. I wanted to record this short video just to speak with you in person, um, so to speak. I um, Before we would meet in class uh, and, and share in the common space and at the same time, um, and we, could, we also uh, began every class with connecting for the, the common reason that we shared that brought us together. Um, we're no longer being being held together in the same space and being drawn together at the same time. But we still share the same reason um, and the, the same reason that connected us. And so um, in that spirit, I'm, I'm going to ring the bell as before, and we'll all be listening to this at different times and in different places across the country. Um, but again, we, we can still uh, connect with our same, our same reason of, of connection. So welcome to our sixth week of class. We are basically, um, we had five weeks before spring break and we have uh, five weeks now after the break. I know we're given um, special, special challenges now that we weren't expecting. Um, I hope each of you is, uh, wherever you are, is, is safe and, and feels supported and is able to support the people around you. Um, I wanted to just to just make this video and and, and speak with you face to face. Um, I uh, I imagine that that as the course as the course goes on, we will we will have to develop new um, a new structure and a new procedure for for carrying on the course. Um, I know no one was expecting this, but but um, we're basically um, it's up to us to to uh, to make the best use of the um, of what we're given. I am. Um, I would like to to read a short story, um, and and then I will open a post for it on the discussion board. Um, this this story is is um, it's by a Chinese philosopher called uh, Master Chuang or Chuang Tzu, and I thought it could give us um, something to think about in the same spirit as as we have been been over the the course of our time together. Um, introducing different different images and, and different different parables that that in some ways give give structure to to notions that are otherwise can be quite abstract and, and, and difficult to comprehend. Um, so uh, my hope is that that um, this this story can function in a similar way, um, and I I look forward to exploring the different the different aspects and, and different meanings of it on um, in our discussion forum. This story is called The Useless Tree. It's by Chuang Tzu, as interpreted by Thomas Merton. Master Hui said to Master Chuang, I have a big tree, the kind they call a stink tree. The trunk is so distorted, so full of knots. No one can get a straight plank out of it. The branches are so crooked, you cannot cut them off in any way that makes sense. There it stands beside the road. No carpenter will even look at it. Such is your teaching, says Hui to Chuang. Such is your teaching, big and useless. Chuang Tzu replied, Have you ever watched the wild cat crouching, watching his prey? The prey leaps this way and that way, high and low, and at last it lands in the trap. Have you seen the yak? Great, and big as a thundercloud, he stands in his might. Big? But he can't catch mice. So for your tree, no use? Then plant it in the wasteland, in emptiness. Walk idly around it. Rest under its shadow. No axe prepares its end. No one will ever cut it down. Useless. You should worry. We'll pause to allow the, the story to sink in. Um, and just to, just to begin, I, one way to think about the story is that um, it shows how the value that we're the value that we can find in something depends on on the value that we can look for in it. 
Um, I don't know how we will be able to interpret this this sudden change that we've all had to go through, um, but I think uh, we don't know yet. And in some way, um, in some way, what it will mean to us depends on on how we're able to make use of this this time now. And so, um, I guess I I feel like everyone that we're in a period of transition in probably in, in each of our personal lives, um, obviously in, in, in society and then, and then also in our, our course together. Um, and I imagine that just as, just as we, during the first part of our course, we, we, um, we had to basically, um, we were practicing and through practice, we got, we got better at, at carrying on the course, carrying on the discussions. Um, I expect that we'll have a, a similar learning curve during the second half. Um, ordinarily, the, ordinarily uh, we would just be continuing to build on what we had already created, but in some ways we have to start from scratch. Um, and I, again, I imagine we'll, we'll improve as, with practice. Um, I'm thinking specifically of, of just adjusting to the new format, um, which will mean carrying on courses, not in person, but, but trying, to, trying to do the best that we can online. Um, and again, I, I imagine that we'll just it will take practice, and, and that we'll improve with practice. Um, and and then again, in some ways, that's just what we're given, and and kind of everything in life is that way. And so, I guess it's up to us to, to make the best use of it. On that note, I'll I'll, I'll close this video, and I look forward to um, to again uh, connecting with you and, and communicating through the, the Blackboard forum. So, um, best wishes to each of you, and. Um, I hope to see as many of you are able to attend uh, this evening's um, online meeting, uh, in which we will be conducting every every week at, at the ordinary time. I understand that that uh, folks weren't um, weren't expecting to, to have to uh, be available through um, through the internet through electronic media, and so um, so I just uh, anyone who who can come is welcome, and, and I'll be happy to see everyone who who does attend. So. Uh, Farewell, and again, best wishes to everyone.